This is the PT4SX offline software installation video for the USB option and Windows Vista. Before we get started, do not insert that purple or black USB key into your computer until we install the drivers here in a little bit. You can, however, insert your CD into your CD-ROM drive. Now from the desktop, click on the Windows Orb, click Computer. Now double-click your CD-ROM drive. We're looking for this file SXOL40, so double-click it. And now here, click Unzip. And what we're actually doing is it's copying the files it's going to need on your computer. When it's done, hit OK, hit Close, and go ahead and close out of here also. So now go back down to the Windows Orb, go back into Computer, and this time we're looking for the C drive, so double click the C drive. Find the PT4SX folder, it's the folder we just created. Go on into it, and we're looking for this PT4SX executable file. So right click it, go send to, and click desktop. Now what we did right here is we actually created a shortcut for our offline software right on our desktop. So we can go into it whenever we want. But we're not done, so go back down to Windows Orb. This time go into Control Panel, click User Accounts, and click User Accounts again. And now click this last item, Turn User Account Control on or off. And here, uncheck where it says Use User Account Control. And click OK. Don't worry, we're going to turn it back on later, but for now we have to turn it off. Go ahead and restart when it asks you. And here we are after the computer is rebooted. Go back down to the start orb. Go into computer. And go back into your CD-ROM drive. Now we're looking for the Sentinel Protection Installer. These are the drivers that are going to run that USB key. So double click them. Wait for just a few moments while it gets ready to install. Okay, when it's all set, click Next. And now click that you accept the license agreement. You purchase the software, so of course you have the license. Click Next. Make sure Complete Installation is selected. Click Next again. And now hit Install. Here it's going to tell you it's going to modify some of your computer settings. That's OK, so click Yes. And it's on its way. Now again, I just want to mention that it is very important to complete this step before inserting that USB key into your computer. Okay, when it finishes up, click Finish. And now you can click out of this screen. You actually have to restart your computer after installing these drivers. So if it tells you that, click No, because we're going to turn the user account control back on. And then we'll restart the computer after that and kind of kill two birds with one stone. So go back down to your Windows Orb, into Control Panel, and you're a pro at this by now. Uh, click on User Accounts twice, and go back into the same Turn User Account Control, on or off, and just re-click it. Check it back on, click OK, and then when it tells you to restart the computer, just click Restart Now. Now here we are after the second reboot. Now you can go ahead and install that USB key into the back of your computer. And here we are. It's actually going to find that USB key all by itself. And the rest of the installation will happen automatically. It will tell you when it's done. You can click out of that. And we're done. We're going to make sure though. So open the offline software. Click check system. Go into program in and out. And we're actually looking for the save menu. Go in here and we're looking for the save file button. We're going to make sure that the words save file are black. If they're kind of a light gray, that means we did something wrong. But they're black, that means we can save files. And that's it. Well, we are done. But if you have any questions whatsoever, please call our service department at 1-800-367-3165.